So I had one speech prepared for the gathering, but I don't know if um, somewhere someone had told me you have to tell your, um, you know, life story, Ani. So I don't think my life story is good enough for this gathering. So what I'm going to do is, um, it's called She Empowerment. Where do I start? Okay. So generally, um, I've been called um, you know, the smiling queen <laughs> or something they say out there, but um, is it too loud? Should I? Is it fine? Okay, okay. So yeah, like I was saying, I, I've always been called the smiling queen. And of, yes, of course, I always, always, always keep smiling for all the love I get, for all the appreciation I get from all of you who watch my films. Um, but you know, one of the other reasons why I smile is all of us. I'm pretty sure that all the girls here smile through the sadness, through the loneliness, through the anger, through the frustration. Smile is a sp superpower, no? Yeah, same thing with me. I keep doing it. And one day I keep thinking, uh, I'll keep smiling till that day where my smile turns into a real one from the heart. But yes, this is a superpower. I know that's why women are, I think, the most pure. I don't know. I don't know how to say the mother is the purest being in the whole world is what they say, right? Yeah. I'm so glad to be born a girl. I'm so glad to be born a girl in this generation, having such people protect us with um, all that they've got. I don't know, I'm just super glad, super proud, and yeah, well, mm, so let me just start introducing myself. Um, I'm Rashmika, for all those who know me, a big, big hi, and for all those who don't, well, um, I'm an actor in the southern industry, and uh, I hope soon you all get to know me as well. That's for my introduction, I don't think I should go on more on that. Um, well, since... I was a really small girl, I still remember. All that my mother said was you should never let someone else see you angry, see you cry, see you feel any of the negative emotions because apparently that's, that's showing your weakness, right? That's what my mom has always told me and I think that's one of the reasons why I just don't know what else to do now. I, I actually genuinely do not know how to cry. Do you know that? Like I have to work so hard to actually cry on screen. I cannot do it. And I look like an idiot when I cry on stage. <laughs> I mean cry on, uh, on screen, I'm sorry. So yeah, I think um, that is the one thing I can't do. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Nowadays, I see women doing so many things, women you know, accomplishing so many things in different fields. And I feel too little. I feel like, what am I doing? I, do, I don't know. Is it good enough? Is it, is it enough for me to get all of this love and appreciation for something so small that I'm doing? I don't know. I, I don't... I still feel like this is not enough and I want to do a lot more and well, I'm just a girl from a small town in Karnataka called Virajpet in Kodagu district. I don't know if you guys are aware of it. From there, I don't know how my life has happened. I don't know at the age of 23 I'm here talking to such a gathering but I'm, I'm glad that I am and I don't know if I want to say that I'm proud of myself yet because I don't think I'm, um, I'm done yet. I've just started and I feel like um, I'm in the process of uh, getting myself a huge, big, loving kingdom that I'm going to create for myself. And why I started saying this is if I, a girl from Kodugu, can do this, then imagine you guys from Hyderabad, what you're capable of. I think women are capable of doing anything they want in this world. And I hope one day all of you make your dreams come true. Please dream big. I'm sorry if the speech is too boring, but <laughs> I just want to say 
dream big do not give a break keep working hard keep working hard it's okay so if someone is laughing at you it's okay if someone is pulling your leg pulling you back down it's okay you just keep working hard you just keep looking up at the sky and reach your goals no matter what anyone else says because if you cannot protect yourself and dream for yourself nobody else can truly trust me i've been there i've done that and now i'm in the process of getting there and i think i'll get there pretty soon i hope all of you join me and thank you so much for doing such a wonderful program like this and having me as a part of it means a lot feel really i'm truly grateful honestly thank you so much and sorry if i've bored you but i just wanted to say we are here to protect you and i hope you reach your dreams you make your dreams come true thank you